everyone. In this video, we will be exporting all of our mail, calendar items, contacts, and really everything else in our old account to what is called a PST file. This is an Outlook data file. Um, this way we can then import that file into our new Office 365 account and all of our old mail, calendar items, contacts, etc. will be uploaded to Office 365. So to get started, we're going to have our Outlook desktop program open. Come up to the top left corner and click on File. Then we're going to select Open and Export. And then select Import slash Export. You want to select Export to a file, the second option in that list of options there. Click on Next. You want to select Outlook data file .pst and click Next. And then you want to make sure that you are clicking on the name of the account that you are exporting all of the data from. That way you're catching everything within that account and not just a specific folder or type of item. Um, you then want to make sure you have include subfolders selected. That way all of your mail folders will come over as they are in your account now. You can then click Next. Now we are going to select where we are going to actually save this PST file. So you want to click Browse. And best practice is to save it to your desktop. That way you know exactly where it is. So we're going to click on Desktop under your favorites. And it's also best to rename your PST file to be the date um, that you are making this export. So today is June 26, 2015. That way you just know when uh, all of the mail and calendar items are from. You then want to select do not export duplicate items from the list of options. That way you're not bringing over any duplicates that you may have in your account. Once you have selected that, you're going to click on Finish. You can then uh, optionally set a password for this file. You don't have to, um, and for our purposes right now, I'm not going to. I'm just going to click on OK. Depending on how much data you have in your account, uh, this export may take a very long time or it may be very quick. Um, with the account I'm using right now, there really isn't a lot in here. So as you can see, it was very fast, but um, it can take quite a while depending on how much data is in there. So the next thing we're going to do is import that PST into our new profile that is set up with our Office 365 account. All right, so after we exported our data from our old account, I went ahead and created a new profile using the Office 365 account where I will be transferring that data to. To learn how to create a new profile for Outlook, you can watch our creating a new profile for Outlook video. But now we're going to import that PST file that we exported earlier. So we have Outlook open. You want to click on File, click Open and Export and select the import slash export option. It should already be on the import from another program or file option, but if it's not, that's the one that you want to select. And then click Next. Then you want to select Outlook data file .pst and click Next. Then you want to click Browse so we can go and find the PST file that we saved earlier. And the reason that we saved it to our desktop was so that it would be super easy to find. Oops. Double click on that. And then again, you want to select do not import duplicates just to make sure that you're not getting any duplicate items in your new Office 365 account. Click Next. It should already have the entirety of the Outlook data file selected. But if it doesn't, you can click up at the top on Outlook data file and it will import all of the data within that file. If you do only want to import certain types of data or certain folders, you can select them individually down here. So if I just wanted to import my calendar events, 
I could click on calendar and only those would come over. But for our purposes, I want to import everything, so I'm going to leave the Outlook data file as a whole selected. You want to make sure you have include subfolders selected so that your folders and folder hierarchy and structure come over. And under import items into the same folder in, you just want to make sure that the option that's selected is just the one with your email address, not the one that says public folders. And click finish. Depending on how much data was in your PST file that we exported earlier, it might take a while for everything to import or it might be very quick. But that is how you transfer your data from your old account into your Office 365 account. You want to leave Outlook open preferably for about a day just so that it can upload all of your data from your old account to your Office 365 account. But after that, you can go ahead and keep using Outlook as you normally would.